In this world, nobody wants problems, hardships. We all want to live a good and comfortable life. Nobody wants to grow old. Nobody wants to become sick. Nobody wants any suffering. Uh, but yet we all go through these phases. And uh, there is a place in the life hereafter in which there will be no old age, in which there will be no death, in which there will be no anything unpleasant whatsoever. Whatever a person could wish, Allah will grant him everything good. And then there is another place in which there will be nothing good. Whatever a person could possibly wish, nothing will be given to him. Uh, no food, no drink, no mercy will be shown to him. And he will cry for mercy and the angels who are in charge of Jahannam will say, when the most merciful didn't show you mercy, what do you expect from us? Allahu Akbar. May Allah save us, my dear friends. In another place, Allah will say, Hal Are you satisfied? Are you happy? Aturiduna shayyan azidukum? Is there anything else that you want that I can give you? I may increase. Anything else that you desire, I will provide. Uh, and people will be happy with whatever Allah will bestow upon them. Alam tubayyid wujuhana wa tudkhilana al-jannata wa tunajjina min al-nar. Ya Allah, have you not enlightened our faces, saved us from Jahannam, put us into Jannah? What else could we desire? Uh, so our aim and goal uh, in life should be fundamentally and primarily to leave this world with Iman. And people can't leave this world with Iman unless they've lived according to the requirements of Iman. How people live is how they die. How they die is how they will be raised. And those who live a good life uh, can expect to die a good death. And now we can't see, but very soon there will come a time when we will see. Now we don't want to acknowledge, then people will acknowledge. Rabbana absarna. Ya Allah, now we have seen, and now we know. Wasami'na, now we've heard. Absarna, wasami'na, farji'na. Ya Allah, please, one more chance. Just send us back for a short while. Inna mukhinun. And now we know properly, totally. We have no doubt whatsoever. Just one more chance. Send us back to this dunya, uh, to our worldly life for a short while, and we'll show you what we can do. Allah says, وَلَوْ رُدُّوا لَعَادُوا لِمَانُهُ عَنُهُ وَإِنَّهُمْ لَكَاذِبُونَ If they were to be sent back, they will go back to their old ways, what they used to do before. Live the same life as they used to live before. They are liars. On the day of Qiyamah, people will make all sorts of excuses. That will be a day. You think excuses will benefit anyone? Allah has given us ample time now. Now. Every day. Do you not see every day is a new chance? Yesterday what happened? You might have heard some bad news. Something severe might have happened. But having a good night's sleep, getting over it, time is a great healer. Uh, with time, Allahu Akbar, even the deepest of the wounds can heal. Every now and then you see, mashallah, we hear a so-and-so passed away. Uh, we only met them yesterday. They were perfectly well. I just spoke to them a few hours ago. Yes, that was a few hours ago. Uh, that's not now. That is history now. Nothing scares Malakul Maut. Uh, nothing scares him, Allahu Akbar. If he was to fear anyone, then no one will die. Uh, he doesn't fear the kings, he doesn't fear generals, he doesn't fear rulers, he doesn't fear anybody. And he doesn't have sympathy upon anybody either. Uh, otherwise, when people are dying, uh, someone's got old parents, someone's got small children, someone, um, lives of many other people depend upon him. Uh, but does he care? Uh, he doesn't care. Uh, he just worries about the orders of the superpower.